Thank you very much. Uh, again, I want to welcome you to the Embassy of Brazil. It is an honor to have all of you here. And uh, in Brazil, we call ourselves by our first name. So my name is Silvio. And uh, another thing that is characteristic of my people is that we become uh, great friends, uh, friends for life, after meeting somebody for five minutes, some people. <laughs> and Severino is already my best friend. I met him some days ago. Now was the first time that I met him some days ago. And uh, we are already best friends. So through Severino, I got to know about you, about the work you've been doing throughout the world. And uh, I want to let you know that uh, in our diplomacy, we learned since the first days of our uh, diplomatic academy, there is no legitimacy in any foreign policy if we don't go after the, feeling of, uh, the feelings of those who really are affected by negotiations as the one that we are dealing with here today. So uh, every diplomat in, uh, in the Foreign Service of Brazil knows that the legitimacy of our foreign policy comes from the straight dialogue with civil society. So uh, we are here uh, offering this opportunity to have you here with us, to hear from you your expectations about uh, this complex negotiation. And we are also establishing contact with the private sector and all uh, those uh, deeply or uh, subtly involved in these negotiations. So this is the feeling that uh, motivated us to promote this meeting. We know that we are celebrating the first year of anniversary of the International Alliance of Waste Speakers. Uh, it is something that has to be valued as important for uh, the construction of common understanding uh, from us, uh, diplomats, about the perspective of those who are going to suffer. Some of those who are go going to suffer the positive and evil effects of the, the words that we put in this uh, treaty or convention to be approved. So uh, I, I want to follow the, the recommendation of Lucianara, my deputy, and uh, uh, I want to refer again to the third meeting of the Intergovernmental Negotiation Committee uh, for the establishment of uh, an internationally legally binding instrument to end plastic pollution. As you all know, it is impossible to end plastic pollution without uh, fundamental environmental services provided by waste pickers uh, in the waste management value chain. All Brazilians and uh, all Colombians, where I, I, I served in Bogota and lived, uh, all Chileans, I served in Santiago and lived, all people from the south, uh, we know very well, but also people from the northern countries, yeah, we know very well that nothing can be agreed in these negotiations, ignoring the perspectives of uh, w waste pickers and the perspective of those who recycle uh, uh, things that we ignore that even exist if we want to do so. If we don't want to close our eyes to our reality, the reality of our own countries, our own neighborhoods, we recognize the value in the work that they have been doing for decades. So it's time uh, their crucial contribution is politically recognized and economically valued. So they are empowered as an active actor in the recycling chain uh, of plastics. If that, that does not happen, uh, the consequences are very clear. If waste pickers cannot count on appropriate economic incentives as well as on a fair remuneration for their services, the environment suffers. The other way around, when we ensure their income and their jobs, uh, they can contribute even further to the protection of our uh, planet. Uh, Severino was just telling me now that he meets President Lula frequently for decades and, uh, uh, and people ask him, what do you want, Severino? He just wants to uh, keep on working. You want to work. That's what you want, to work. And uh, through his work, he's benefiting nature. Yes, he is. So all of them are here in order to contribute for us, uh, diplomats, members of government, to reflect upon, upon their perspectives. So I am uh, I'm honored. Uh, now, to, to give the floor to Lucia Fernandez, the Acting General Secretary of the International Alliance of uh, Waste Speakers, who will introduce the event. Again, we are mostly welcome to our embassy, uh, and I'm quite sure that today, uh, in the territory of Brazil, you're going to be, uh, to, to be giving us and bringing to us very good luck in the negotiations that we have ahead of us. Thank you so much.
I am very tall, I think I will. <laughs> Thank you very much, the Brazilian Embassy and Brazilian government. Um, if Severino is best friend after five minutes, imagine how, what is for me after 20 years. <laughs> it's like uh, we love and we love and hate. <laughs> uh, a dinosaurs. So uh, we have been yeah, working, working for a long time. So it's my great uh, pleasure and honor uh, to tell you all here today, and thank you for coming, uh, that one year ago, precisely at the end of October of 2022, we finally get to approve our constitution as International Alliance of Way Speakers. And why this is important, if we know Severino for 20 years and we have been in so many COPs, so many science so many events, because it's time for these sectors to formalize internationally for defend their rights as workers, as recycling workers, informal workers, cooperative workers, whatever they want to call them in any country, because things are getting tough and things are getting difficult. And these INCs are open space, important space for way speakers to be putting their demands on the table. But we know there are some governments, not Brazil for sure, but some governments who are not very much supporting of the cause of the way speakers and some companies, uh, private companies who are coming to displace the work of the way speakers. So it's time for the sector to have their international union. And I am very proud and happy to let you all know that we have almost half a million members, uh, 460,000 members in 34 countries from the five continents um, and 50 affiliates. So, claps, claps? Why are you not clapping? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Clap, clap, clap. Something needs to pass. Like clap, clap. Um, so today, uh, Severino is going to introduce uh, our West speaker comrades here, and we are uh, presenting uh, on top of celebrating the reason for our union and why we are together, along with justice uh, 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 transition coalitions, environmental justice groups, trade union movements, because we need to have a unified voice to make ourselves stronger. I said yesterday in an event, uh, it's nice to listen many governments saying, way speakers, way speakers, way speakers, but what happened after that mention? What happened after the text is in the, uh, in the zero draft, our name is in the zero draft, how we can enforce that some good implementation is taking place. Uh, so we have a long way to go, and we are happy to all of you to help us in this big journey to convince the governments to include way speakers as one of the main important actors to reduce plastic pollution, not because they are fancy or we are kind of uh, everywhere, it's because they have been doing that for decades in some places for centuries. So we are reclaiming a historical role. Um, we welcome newcomers, but we prefer for newcomers to respect what uh, we have been doing before. So I keep insisting on this kind of EPR schemes, how we can allow way speakers to be very much inside policies in their countries and to be uh, recognized for their historical contribution. So this is what this event is going to be all about. And for that reason, we just launched, uh, and today we are officially launching a big effort from the advocacy team that we have in the International Alliance, Taylor, Kabir, and Amira, who you may know, along with many way speakers organizations that you have on the first uh, page of the long report that we acknowledge, and some alliance as well, who help us contribute on the text for what does it mean for way speakers to have a just transition. And we are going to be hearing from from that today, from them. Uh, so when school Zoom and Aruna are going to speak in their own language, we are going to be asking the interpreters to help us. And uh, last thing to say is that uh, for those of you who just came, we have some light lunch and that you miss, but don't worry, when we finish the event, there is going to be uh, more food and drinks uh, afterwards, thanks to Kaipirin. Uh, <laughs> you really? Oh. Uh, thanks to the contribution as well of uh, St. Andrews University. So, so yes, so thank you all of you. Thank you for joining us in this big celebration of the one year of our constitution. And just for you to know, 
I am the acting general secretary. Uh, we don't have yet a president, vice president, or treasurer. We are having our elections, the first elections of the International Alliance next May 1st. We are going to celebrate the work in uh, the Labor Day in most of our countries apart from the US. Uh, and we are going to be having our first elections. So uh, keep in touch. We let you know since May 2nd uh, who is our first international president and who is our executive elected council uh, so yes and who may be the new general secretary so that's also for you to understand our positions and the reason why today we are speaking here is because we have one with speakers per continent um, and next year they are going to have their own election in place uh, so thank you all very much clap, 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 clap. <laughs> Fica em pé. Me sinto mais à vontade. E aproveito para pegar a bandeira que está só caindo aqui. Asdrubo, vou falar em portunhol. Por favor, faça a tradução. Bueno, I'm going to speak in portunhol, so there's going to be a translation. Bueno, primeiramente, queria agradecer ao embaixador por abrir a casa dos brasileiros aqui. Agradecer a todos que estão aqui, que se involucraram há um montão de dias para ter esse belíssimo, hermoso e caliente encontro. So first of all, thank you very much, Ambassador, and the uh, Brazilian uh, and everyone that was involved. To Agradecer in especial a los compañeros recicladores de acá de Kenia, que aquí están presentes más de 20, y la emoción y la alegría que tengo de tenerlos acá es muy importante. Also, thank you to all the way speakers. We have more than 20 way speakers right now, so thank my you colleagues, guys very much. My brothers, my was colleagues, to Kenya. My, my colleagues as well. <laughs> thank you. Eh, a mi, a, la mia parte de hablar es eh, un poco de la vida y de la historia y del nombre reciclado. So Yo I no just, voy a... I just want to talk a little bit about the history of the waste speakers. Yo no voy a hablar tanto porque todos que saben Severino en Brasil hablan mucho. La historia de los recicladores son que si no fueran los recicladores en el mundo, el mundo sería la mayor basura <laughs> y ya no estábamos acá en ese planeta. So everyone knows me, everyone knows Severino, but I'm going to speak a little bit about the history of the way speakers. If there was no way speakers, then the world would be full of trash. Allá la noche, no estaba así como Patrick que pasó todo el día escribiendo su texto. So Patrick yesterday was uh, writing a big text. Ah, me pensé en la cabeza, ¿cuál es mi función en el planeta? Cambiar personas, cambiar actitudes, construir nuevos liderazgos. So I was just thinking of, uh, on myself, what's my function in this planet? To change minds, to change people? What's my function? Y hacer con que las personas comprendan la importancia del trabajo de los recicladores. So in this case, it would be to, to make people understand the role of the waste pickers. Las políticas, los gobiernos pueden nos nombrar como quieran. Nuestro trabajo es lo mismo, limpiar el planeta, destinar de, adecuadamente los plásticos para que no se llegue a los océanos. So governments can call us with different names, but our real task is, you know, to sort this this trash and be the first ones in the line. Pero mi mayor tristeza es que acá no está todos los que empezaron la lucha. Aprovecho este momento para invitar a nuestro liderazgo acá, que representa todos son liderazgo, mas hay siempre alguien que va a hablar, alguien que tiene el carisma y es normal. En Brasil hay Severino, hay Luis Enrique, hay, hay Eduardo, hay Roberto. So sadly, we, we don't have one of our co-workers here, and I'm going to invite someone else. We, we can have a lot of uh, representatives from different countries. Entonces quería aprovechar para invitar a John, and que I es liderazgo acá de Kenia, representando sus compañeros recicladores de acá. Por favor, John, Camille Blanc. Please come, Camille John. Blanc, I want to invite John. And que va a ser un homenaje y va a hablar de dos nombres que... Eh, va, él va a inglés, es bueno que no va a necesitar traducción para los que hablan inglés. So he's going to speak about some of our co-workers and he will speak in English. And <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, as Severina said and as uh, Lucia has mentioned, the integral role that we speakers have been playing historically, we have been doing this role with a lot of challenges and a lot of things that we go through that the world never sees. So before I talk about some of us who have played like very integral roles, some of us that have laid the first carpets to the organizing work that we've been doing, I would like to ask all the West speakers that are here to stand up so that we can appreciate the role that 
all of these people, these men and women have been doing. So. So the reason why I asked all these people to stand up is because these people have not only been having an impact in the world, these people have put their lives on the line while doing this job. And I very much like it if it is visible, if we come in uh, these brandings that we are happy of, we are very happy and proud of who we are. We are very happy and proud of the impact and the history and the the the, the uh, impacts that we've we've been bringing over history in our environments and in our community. You can just sit down, please. Uh, first of all, uh, there are two two key people that are personal friends of mine that I would like to mention here today, and it's not only them. We lose a lot of West speakers today in, light, in, in the lines of duties. We uh, have people who work in this job that are not in situations that are any good. But I would like to recognize the efforts and the organizing work that some of our colleagues, one of whom is Simon Butter from South Africa, that it is so uncertain that today is not here with us here, but he played a very integral role in the organizing work of West Speakers in Africa. And he very much laid a lot of uh, systems for us. He, he, he encouraged us, he inspired us to, to be here today. When you see a lot of African West Speakers here today is because of people like Simon Butter. Uh, my other friend is called Ezekiel Este. These are people that really brought a lot of impact in the organizing work of West Speakers. And we have to accept and we have to recognize the efforts that they brought into the work that we've been doing. So I would like to uh, also request all of us to give Simon and Ezekiel, Ezekiel Este um, one, minute, one minute moment of silence, not just to them, but to all the way speakers that have lost their lives in, the, in, in their line of duty doing this work, because a lot of us like are exposed to several things that end up having us succumb to them. So uh, I would like to, maybe we can stand or something, because that is, that is our culture. Maybe we can give uh, all the West speakers and more particularly Simon Butt and Ezekiel Este a moment of silence. Thank you. Thank you very much. You can uh, have a seat. So, to the best speakers in the house, I would like to say that this is an honor to you, and this is to remind you all of the work that you've been doing, to remind you that you are a hero in this world. It's not only uh, the people that you'll see in medias that are portrayed, are portrayed as people who are protectors of this land. We have been those historical heroes that have not, like, got a lot of celebration and this one minute honor today is a celebration to all of you and the work that you've been doing over time. Thank you very much and Karibuni Kenya. Thank you so much, John. Viva was speak viva! Viva! Viva was speak viva! Viva! Viva Zekiao Viva! Viva! Viva Sama Mumbata Viva! Viva! Thank you, sir. Ah, otra cosa, traduto. Mira, yo estaba acá contento porque acabaron de llegar un montón de personas así, que por eso Severino está aquí, embajador, quería pedir permiso para agradecer a nuestros compañeros de Brasil. Acá está Nelson, que para mí es Nelson, para ustedes es Nelson, por favor. So, eh, yo miré la you. mía ministra, ah, perdón. So I just wanted to welcome someone else. 
And I, he wanted to also uh, thank you again and ask you for, for, for permission. Y aquí está la nuestra ministra Angélica que nos recibió a los recicladores, así que el gobierno le puso la misión. Mira, hay unos chicos ahí, recicladores, que viven volando todo el planeta. Lo reciban, por favor, porque son importantes para nosotros. Y so, agradecer así. So he's welcoming uh, the ministry, Angélica. Uh, she's very important. Her work is very important. Lo cual yo, yo compartirlo con los otros compañeros que están acá del Ministerio de Medio Ambiente, Salud. Hay otro que no ha llegado. Está trayendo una botella de cachaza para que el que era Alberto, que es el, el secretario de Residuos Sólidos del Ministerio de Medio Ambiente. Other ministries, the environmental one. Ok. Sorry. Ese translation es good no. Ok. Por favor, vamos a pasar la. Severino. Kik was saying, what do you understand by that sentence over there? Recycling without waste speakers is garbage. Reciclaging sem os catadores é lixo. Como é que você entende essa frase? É que, bueno, é que para nós outros de Brasil, se tu vai poner uma coleta diferenciada, ser recolhida diferenciada, e não incluir a los recicladores, é uma basura, não serve. Em so Brasil, em Brasil, if uh, if you you know put something, if you don't include the waste pickers, then it, it doesn't matter, it it doesn't exist. Okay. Thank you, thank you very much for this. So in order to start with uh, the presentation of our just transition paper, I need uh, Ananda, our friend from uh, uh, Justice Transition Alliance, and then our comrade for the French interpretation because we are going to be speaking in that order. So I will give you the floor to Kulsum. আমার নাম কুলসম আমি বাংলাদেশ থেকে আসছি বাংলাদেশের ওয়েস্ট স্পিকার্স ইউনিয়নের জেনারেল সেক্রেটারি আমি আমার বাংলাদেশে 10টা শহরে আমি বাংলাদেশ ওয়েস্ট স্পিকার্স ইউনিয়ন গড়ে তুলছি তাদের পক্ষ থেকে আমি এখানে আসছি তো আসসালামু আলাইকুম थैंक यू फॉर हैविंग माय वॉइस इंक्लूडेड हियर माय नेम इज कुलसম বেগম আই এম দ্য জেনারেল সেক্রেটারি অফ দ্য বাংলাদেশ ওয়েস্ট স্পিকার্স ইউনিয়ন উই রিপ্রেজেন্ট and serve waste pickers in 10 cities across Bangladesh. Amar waste pickers bhai o bonera ebong jara ekhane amaderke ashar jonno ayojon kore dicen tader shoho sarkari jara achen ei desher lokjon jara achen shobai ke je jekhan theke aschen shobai ami mone kori khubi bhalo moner manush amader moto manush ke niye jara chinta kore tara khub bhalo moner manush সেইখান থেকে বলতেছি সবাইকে আমার আন্তরিক শুভেচ্ছা এবং লাল সালাম আ রেড স্যালুট টু অল অফ ইউ আর সিস্টার্স আর ব্রাদার্স আর কমরেডস মাই ফেলো ওয়েস্ট পিকারস উই বিলিভ দ্যাট অল অফ আস হ্যাভ কাম টু টুগেদার উইথ দ্য রাইট মাইন্ড টু সার্ভ দ্য ফিউচার অফ আওয়ার প্ল্যানেট আমরা যারা এখানে ওয়েস্ট পিকারস ইউনিয়নের যেইখান থেকে যে দেশ থেকে আসছি সবাই আমরা এক সুতায় গাতা আমাদের ওয়েস্ট স্পিকারদেরকে যাতে সমাজে স্বীকৃতি দেওয়া হয় সেই কাজটা যেন সেই আইনটা যেন করা হয় ও পাশাপাশি আমাদেরকে এই আইনের সাথে সাথে সমাজের স্বীকৃতি দিতে হবে সমাজের সবচেয়ে মূল্যবান কাজটা আমরা করি আমরা পরিষ্কার পরিচ্ছন্ন করি আবার আমাদেরকে অবহেলা করে ঠেলে ফেলে দেয় আমাদেরকে দেখলে নাকে কাপড় দেয় বলে যেন আমাদের কাছ থেকে গন্ধ আসে বাসে উঠায় না বাসে উঠতে গেলে আমাদেরকে নামায় দেয় কয় নোংরা পরে আসো পরের গাড়িতে আসো এগুলো বলে এগুলো যাতে না বলে সেই জায়গার থেকে আমরা বের হয়ে আসতে চাই আমরা মানুষ মানুষের মতো বাঁচতে চাই এই স্বীকৃতিটা আমরা চাই অন বিহাফ অফ আওয়ার ওয়েস্ট পিকার্স ইউনিয়ন আই এম হিয়ার টু অ্যাসার্ট দ্যাট আওয়ার লেবার আওয়ার সার্ভিসেস ডিম্যান্ড রেসপেক্ট অ্যান্ড রেকগনিশন আই এম হিয়ার টু অ্যাসার্ট দ্যাট অ্যাজ ওয়েস্ট পিকার্স উই নট ওনলি প্রোটেক্ট আওয়ার কমিউনিটিস উই ক্লিন আওয়ার স্ট্রিটস উই ক্লিন আওয়ার সিটিস and we protect the future of the earth and yet there are many in society who still look down upon us who still are blind to the fact that our services are essential and that we are leading the solutions on cleaning waste and addressing the plastics problem we need recognition of these essential services we need recognition at all levels of government in all policies in all matters concerning plastics and the reduction of waste amra sai plastic 
রিসাইকেল হোক কিন্তু পাশাপাশি আমরা যে আমার দেশ হয়েছে বাংলাদেশ ওই যে খুব নিচু দেশ ওইখানে নদী নালা সব ভরে যায় ড্রেন আটকায়া যায় পলিথিন যায় প্লাস্টিকের জিনিসপত্র আটকায়া তো ওই জায়গার থেকে আমরা বেশি ক্ষতিগ্রস্ত আমরা একটু বৃষ্টি হইলে পানিতে ডুবে যাই ওইখান থেকে আমাদের খুব কষ্ট হয় এবার আমার ঘরে এ পর্যন্ত পানি উঠছে আমি কষ্ট করি সেইখান থেকে আমি বলতে চাই যে সবাই যেন এই দিক দিয়ে সুনির্দিষ্টভাবে কাজ করে আর এই আইন পাশ করার পাশাপাশি আমরা যারা ও স্পিকার্স একান্ত ও স্পিকার্সরাই যেন এই কাজগুলো পাই স্বীকৃতি পাই কাজ পাই কাজের ন্যায্য মজুরিটা পাই যদি এই ন্যায্য মজুরি পাই তাহলে আমরা সুস্থভাবে চলাফেরা করতে পারব বাঁচতে পারব বাঁচার মতো সেই জায়গায় আমরা এখানে যারা আসেন সবাই আমি মনে করি আমাদের পক্ষই আসছেন আমাদের শুভাকাঙ্ক্ষী সবাই এই কথাটা মাথায় রাখবেন যে এই ওই স্পিকার্সরা এখানে দূর দূরান্ত থেকে আজকে এখানে আসছে তাদের দাবির জন্য সেই দাবিটা যেন আদায় হয় সেই জায়গার থেকে সবার কাছে আমি আন্তরিক ভাবে জোর দিয়ে বলতেছি আমাদের অধিকারটা যেন আমরা পাই আমরা যেন কাজ করতে পারি কাজের ন্যায্য মজুরিটা পাই আমার সময় খুবই কম যার জন্য আমি সব কথা বলতে পারলাম না মনে অনেক আকুতি নিয়ে আমার একটু কথা বললাম বড় বুক বড়া আশা নিয়ে আসি যাতে আমরা এই কাজে সফল হব আজ পর্যন্ত গরিব মানুষ যে কাজগুলো করতে চায় সেই কাজগুলো না করে ছাড়ে না তারা সব সময় করে সেইখান থেকে আমি বলতে চাই যে আমরা সফল হব হবেই হব ইনশাল্লাহ সবাইকে ধন্যবাদ জানাইয়া আমার এই সংক্ষিপ্ত কথা এখানে শেষ করছি সবাইকে আবার আন্তরিক লাল সালাম আসসালাম আলাইকুম Wow. Um, as, as, we, as way speakers, we are keenly aware that it is our labor that not only protects the health of our communities, it cleans our streets, it cleans our waters, it keeps our farms clean from pollution, but it also is at the forefront of tackling climate change. Because we see all of these issues as connected. Poverty is connected to the pollution that the wealth in society is, cre uh, is creating, and that we as waste pickers, some of the poorest workers, some of the most neglected workers, are cleaning up the mess that the wealthy in society create today. So we need to not only be recognized, <laughs> respected, accredited, registered by all levels of government, but in places like the Global Plastics Treaty, our leadership needs to be centered, we have to not only be seen as human beings, but our labor has to be recognized as leading these efforts to tackle these global problems. Without us, we will not be able to have a plastics treaty or any meaningful action. It is our labor that shall protect the planet and that we hope to do this with you all. We urge you all to stand with us in solidarity with our, uh, with our struggle because only together can we protect our future. Lal Salam, Red Salute. Okay, thank you very much. Now is the turn from Africa continent. Bonjour à tout le monde. Merci, Excellence, Monsieur l'Ambassadeur. Merci de nous recevoir ici. Merci, mon frère Severino. Merci à l'Alliance euh, internationale des récupérateurs. Greetings everyone. I thank you, Your Excellency, for hosting us here. I thank you, Severino, my colleague. I thank uh, the International Alliance of West Speakers. Donc, euh, j'ai une pensée pieuse euh, à mon frère Simon Bata, où on a mis une mise de silence à son encontre, paix à son âme. So I also remember our brother, we've observed a minute of silence to remember him. Je n'ai pas trop les mots parce que j'ai le cœur vraiment plein. Parce que nous, nous venons de loin. Il y a Severino, il y avait Simon, Simon Bata et moi-même. So I don't have much to say because we, it's a moving moment because we've come from far, yeah. myself, Severino and uh, the man, the Peter that we lost. Et un encadrement technique, euh, l'organisation Wego qui nous ont vraiment appuyé. I also appreciate Wego organization that has supported us. Et qu'aujourd'hui nous nous constituons une famille. 
Today we've become a family. Donc, euh, moi, en tant que récupérateur, travaillant dans les décharges, comme mes frères et sœurs. So myself, I'm a waste picker, and I work in landfills like my brothers and sisters here. Nous nous sommes confrontés à beaucoup de difficultés. We encounter a lot of difficulties. Nous avons un, un problème de sécurité au travail et un problème de santé. So we have a, an issue with our protection and uh, health challenges as we work. Et ceci euh, doit attirer l'attention de nos états et des producteurs. And we really want to appeal to the, our states and to the producers of uh, waste. Parce que nous faisons, nous faisons partie de la communauté. Because we are part of the community. Donc, ils doivent nous assurer notre sécurité et notre santé au travail. So we want them to help us get uh, our security protection and also for our health. L'autre aspect aussi que nous, devons, que nous demandons, par exemple, aux gouvernants et aux producteurs, Something else that we also request the governments, the states, and the producers. C'est de pouvoir renforcer les organisations des récupérateurs qui puissent être des organisations fortes et démocratiques. That they can support us in formalizing our waste pickers organizations so that we are strong and we are also democratic organizations. Moi, je pense que les producteurs, ils produisent, ils payent les gouvernants, donc ils doivent faire ou bien montrer leur contribution par rapport à ce que nous faisons. So, so we know that the, the companies that produce the waste that we have to collect, they make their contributions, but they should also take up the responsibility. Et je pense que si on a des organisations fortes et démocratiques, and if our organizations are strong and democratic, nous pourrons faire partie de la transition juste. We'll be able to participate in the just transition. Je vous remercie tous. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you very much, Aruna. Now yes, we are moving to the north, and we have uh, Europe. Welcome, Rui Pietro. Thank you. Uh, we speakers are <laughs> present also in the global north. In the case of Europe, we are hundreds of thousands. In Italy, we are at least uh, 50,000. We are the heart of the second-hand economy in Europe. The most part of the second-hand economy is managed by informal workers, picking the waste and making retail directly in the street. This is the heart of the second-hand economy in Europe, but we are very marginalized. Brazil is more advanced than us. Colombia is more advanced. Kenya is more advanced. We are totally marginalized by the government, by the other players, and also by the ecologist movement. We don't exist. But till now, we did the work of Rius in Europe. And uh, with the transition to a circular economy, now we risk to be definitely <laughs> expulsed by the system. They put uh, reels uh, in the top of the hierarchy of uh, waste, but they are expulsing from the system <laughs> the people that are really doing uh, the work. So, circular economy is also traceability, transparency, oversight, adaptation of the economy. But uh, we think that uh, uh, waste speakers should be included in this uh, process. There are many years that we are asking for regularization. Other organizations are asking for public money. We are <laughs> asking just for the right to exist. Just for a frame of rules that allow us to exist. So, we think that member states, producers, other players should implement uh, mandatory processes to report uh, not just uh, the environmental result, but also the result uh, uh, about the regularization of, uh, of waste pickers, uh, provision of social uh, protection, uh, improvement uh, on their condition of work and in their uh, income. A, a family of waste pickers uh, in Italy now is, uh, is earning uh, 
maybe 5,000, 7,000 7, euros for year. Who <laughs> know Europe? No what that means, okay? So, you know, the way speakers in Europe are not well organized. We are individuals. We are mm, informal uh, migrant enterprises, composed by one person, two person, three person, often their family. We are not good uh, at all in advocacy. We are not a, a strong lobby. And for this reason, we were expulsed by the reasonings. So the government should take the situation in their hand, recognize the phenomenon, recognize that we are the heart of the second end. We do the big mass of reuse in Europe. We should be involved by initiative of the government in the policy making and decision making of uh, circular uh, economy. So, as alliance, not just here, all the alliance, uh, we recommend the establishment of uh, public governance committees or forum that effectively include also the informal uh, way speakers in the in the process. Thank you. Hello, welcome everyone. I want to thank uh, you for having us here today. I'm very honored. And I'm also very honored to have all the guests here. I'm Barbara Weber, and I'm a leader from Ground Score Association, which is a democratic waste picker organization in Portland, Oregon, United States. I, impl I want to say that, United States, <laughs> again. And also an affiliate of the International Alliance of Waste Pickers. A just transition should include capacity building and appropriate technology. Government should track and report labor markets and trend, labor market trends to ensure that any reskilling or capacity building will be successfully successful over the long term and should report on outcome of their retraining efforts. We also advocate that technology advancement and materials management be appropriate such that not to not leave anyone behind. We need your support. The International Alliance of Waste Pickers advocates that a just transition must include, I just said that, you know, <laughs> uh, no, no, I, I'm sorry, uh, must improve uh, materials management, minimize packaging, phase out non-recyclable material, and design and fund reuse and repair program efforts that waste pickers can implement themselves. Finally, we have we have the following key key recommendations for the Plastics Treaty text. Number one, please incorporate specific reference to waste pickers in the text, along with existing references to workers in the informal cooperative setting. Number two. Define essential terms, such as waste picker, worker in informal cooperative settings, and a just transition, to enhance the clarity and the understanding. We want cross-references of just transition in several places in the text, including of the objective. These measures are going to benefit millions of waste pickers around the globe, in Europe, in the United States, in Brazil, and all regions of the world. Everywhere you go, there is really waste pickers. And if you're not aware of that, look, okay? You can read our full recommendations, both to the treaty text and the just transition in our documents. I want to thank you again for being here. And I'm humbled to be here with my waste picker comrades. Um, thank you, Severino, my thank best you. friend. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, before, uh, first of all, this is a very rich opportunity for us to listen perspectives coming from all throughout the world. Uh, it's very rare a moment like this for, at least for us, diplomats. And uh, as somebody who, before arriving here to be a Br Brazilian ambassador to Kenya, was serving in Canada, I, uh, and during pandemic, during the pandemic, uh, the, the most severe pandemic that we, ha we have seen the last hundred years, uh, I believe that uh, it's a tendency from all of us human beings to forget about bad things that happen in our lives. It is historical. 
historians tell us that's two years after the tragic pandemic in the beginning of the last century, uh, nobody was uh, speaking about it anymore, given the, the amount of losses that we had had. Well, the same seems to be happening now. Uh, again, we try to forget to go ahead and live what happened quite recently. In Brazil, we lost almost 800,000 people in my, in my country. But what I, what I saw uh, as transformative as possible in Canada, where I was, is that the notion of uh, essential workers and essential work uh, has deeply changed. At least it should have changed in the, mind, in the mindset of each one of us. Because if it were not for the work done by way speakers in cities where we were, and I was living in Vancouver, and most of way speakers in Vancouver were uh, immigrants, uh, there would be no life, no possible life. So uh, I could uh, go on uh, quoting uh, uh, other uh, qualifications and other professionals who were defined at that moment as essential workers that are invisible today again, again, because again, Human beings tend to forget about uh, negative facts of our lives in order for us to get on, get on living and get on uh, keeping our lives uh, as, uh, as, as usual. But uh, I want to recognize what has been said here. Uh, you are not invisible to us. Uh, you are seen by us. We have a president who is an example of a president who sees uh, these sectors of society uh, without which we cannot go ahead and develop anything in our countries. So uh, I'm very honored as Ambassador Brazil to host this meeting. I, I recognize that this work that we are doing here is being done in Brazil uh, by my colleagues. So Angelica is here. She's the one establishing a very close dialogue with the, the private sector, the third sector, way speakers in Brazil. And I can guarantee you that in what has to do with our diplomacy and our foreign policy, no, nothing is going to be decided by us. No position are going to be presented by us, ignoring the perspective of the third sector, and specifically, to use the right expression, uh, the perspective of waste speakers. So uh, having said that, I have here uh, in my agenda the proposal of uh, opening the floor now for those who are representing member states, uh, and Severino has been very, very tough with me. Uh, it is a space for member states to speak if they want to. Uh, and so the floor is open for any colleague of, of mine, of ours, uh, representing member states who uh, wish to take the floor and say anything. Thank you very much, thank you very much. My name is Valentina, I'm from Uruguay, but I'm talking on behalf of the region, of the Latin America and the Caribbean region. Uh, I, I really want to help, uh, thank Brazil for this initiative. Thank you very much, it's, for us it's fundamental uh, to support you also, and, and, and thank you for all your engagement, your good inputs. Uh, we are actually taking into account your inputs and we are developing a group like proposal uh, on just transition. So thank you very much for that, and, and we, <laughs> we hope to have a, a very good results on this treaty. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Who else wants to take the floor? Argentina. Bueno, hago, hago un pequeño comentario. Prefiero hacerlo en castellano porque me va a salir. Por favor, por favor. Mejor. ¿Quién, quién eh, puede hacer la traducción? Asdubro. Bueno, primero, muchísimas gracias por la invitación a la embajada y a los compañeros de la alianza. Eh, Thank you very much for inviting me and sí. the guys at the embassy as well. Es un honor estar acá y escucharlos. A, compañeros de hace muchísimos años, conocemos hace muchos años. It's an honor to be with trabajando. you guys. Uh, we've been working for a lot of years now. Eh, bueno, en principio tenía que estar acá María Castillo, que iba a venir a, a este, iba a formar parte de la delegación, que es muy importante para nosotros porque viene llevando, es una cartonera de toda la vida, que viene llevando, este momento tiene un rol en el Estado Nacional. So first of all, María Castillo had sí. to be here because she's a way speaker, she has been working on this for a lot of years viene impulsando políticas públicas vinculadas específicamente a los recicladores de base. She has been working on uh, private policies. Así yeah. que bueno, es ella por ahí la que tendría que estar hoy tomando acá la voz, pero 
eh, por algunas razones de salud no pudo estar. So she eh, she would have to be the one speaking here, but because of health reasons she, she couldn't be here today. Así que bueno, en principio en nombre de ella y en nombre también de la delegación argentina agradecerles que hayan traído la voz de los recicladores de base. So in her name and the name of Argentina, we thank you guys very much to to bring the way speaker name. Todos los aportes que han traído han sido muy importantes y afortunadamente y gratamente hemos visto como muchísimas las delegaciones, en especial la de Grulac, lo, las han tomado eh, para, para incidir en lo que es el texto final, no solamente en la de Grulac, sino un montón de otros países que han nombrado a, lo, a los waste pickers, a los recicladores. So all of your inputs are very important, especially for Grulac uh, region, and not just Grulac, other regions as well. Y, y creo que nuestro rol y nuestra responsabilidad y a lo que nos tenemos, a lo que, nos tenemos que comprometer es a, a que todas esas eh, intenciones que han sido nombradas terminen en el, ex, en el texto, sean herramientas reales para que cada país pueda implementar políticas inclusivas de los recuperadores. So we have to commit, so all of these inputs are included in the final text, so we can really do a difference. Y eso va a ocurrir no solamente por la voluntad que puedan tener los funcionarios que hoy representan a los estados, sino también por la organización y la lucha que vienen llevando ustedes. Así que muchísimas gracias, es muy importante esto para nosotros. So this is not just political will, but also your participation. So thank, thanks again for your participation. Thank you. My name is Alan Haugen from, uh, from Norway and the Norwegian delegation. So first of all, thank you to Brazil and His Excellency Ambassador Silvio for inviting us. And congratulations to the International Alliance of Waste Pickers on the one year. I met you and colleagues much before that during UNEA when uh, the Minister of Environment of Norway was here as the uh, UNEA president. And he went on a visit to Dandora with waste pickers together with the head of uh, UN Environment Program in Grand Nation, and he also had a working lunch with the Alliance, as well as the, the executive director of the UN Human Settlements uh, Program, also headquartered here in uh, Nairobi. And I also wanted to draw your attention to uh, a report that was commissioned by Norway and uh, developed by UN Habitat and the Norwegian Institute for Water Research, titled uh, A Just Transition for the Informal Sector Under Plastics Treaty. That was launched uh, here in Nairobi last year at the margins of an event uh, or a meeting chaired by Ambassador uh, Silvio. And at that event, uh, the report was launched and there was three very important people there. We had uh, His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince of Norway there. We had Her Royal Highness, the Crown Prince of Sweden there. And we had, where is he? His Excellency, the Chief of the Kenyan National Waste Packers Welfare Association, Brian Gasor was also there for this event. And then lastly, uh, I wanted to draw your attention to uh, a ministerial, uh, joint ministerial statement of the High Ambition Coalition uh, to End Plastic Pollution, which is a coalition led by uh, Norway and Rwanda with 61 uh, members. And the ministerial statement before the INC2 uh, reads, uh, it's a long sentence. <laughs> Uh, we underline the scientific evidence of adverse health impacts related to plastics throughout the life cycle, especially for women, infants and young children, workers and residents of frontline communities exposed to toxic chemicals used in or generated as a byproduct from the manufacture of plastics. And those exposed to toxic chemicals further down the life cycles of plastics through the use of plastic products and in the management of plastic waste, including waste pickers and waste recyclers. And then just lastly, for, your, for you that are going to go back to the United Nations, I ask you to draw attention to the meeting gavel used by the chair at these proceedings. So this beautiful blue gavel is a gift uh, from Norway to the UNEA, and it's been created by recycled plastics that has been picked, sorted and recycled by waste pickers at the Dandora Waste Site right here in uh, Nairobi. So, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. My name is Dr. Zagam Abbas from Government of Pakistan. First of all, I would like to appreciate uh, Ambassador Embassy of Brazil and International Alliance of Waste Pickers. I am happy to uh, join this event and this is very important because waste pickers in every country is the crucial 
for picking the material even they are using for recycling purpose. In Pakistan, we have many, many waste pickers and they are collecting the material, particularly PET bottles, and that is the raw material for the industries. Five industries of PET is making staple fibers from PET bottles. So all credit go to the waste pickers and they are important in our society and they are saving and to protect our environment as well as to the resources which they collect from the garbage and make it accessible to the industry. So I appreciate all the waste pickers and the presenters who gave the presentation. So even we have supported just transition in our country statement and we will also endorse in our instrument. Thank you very much. Hello, I'll be brief. Um, it's my first uh, time here in the INC and I could just, I, I'm very impressed to see all the energy, although I don't understand all of the languages that have been presented today, you can just feel, feel the energy and the passion of the work that you do. And uh, as a region, as Chile, we, we acknowledge uh, that work and, and, and we also support what, what all that you've been saying. Eh, cambio el español porque está aquí Soledad. Soledad eh, está, es de Chile. Estamos muy orgullosos que ella esté aquí y que es parte de esta, de esta organización. De estos, y bueno, todo nuestro apoyo. Gracias. Um, hi, is this working? Hi. I, is there any other member state who would like to address the. Andres, you first then. Okay. Thank you, uh, Angelica. Muito obrigado, um, Ambassador, uh, for welcoming us uh, in your beautiful uh, embassy here. Uh, gracias a todos eh, quienes también participan de este evento. Thank you, everyone who are also taking part in this event. Um, there is power in a name. Hay poder en los nombres. Hay poder en llamar a las personas por su nombre. Uh, there's power in naming people by their name. So we have heard very loud and clear your call to include you by name in the instrument. Hemos escuchado de parte de los recicladores ese llamado fuerte y claro a incluirlos, a incluirlos de manera explícita en el instrumento. Eh, y es algo que nosotros eh, incorporaremos también como, como Colombia y lo estamos también discutiendo dentro de la región de América Latina y del Caribe. We are talking about how to include you in the text as Colombia and also as the region of Latin America and the Caribbean, as our uh, dear uh, chair of GRULAC has mentioned before, Valentina from Uruguay. Um, but again, because there is power in a name, pero también porque hay poder en los nombres, eh, tengo que poner acá de presente el nombre de Nora Padilla y de Silvio Ruiz. I, and because the, there is power in naming, uh, I have to uh, bring here the names of Nora Padilla and Silvio Ruiz. Eh, ellos son dos líderes eh, recicladores en Colombia que han hecho un trabajo también fenomenal eh, en lo que tiene que ver con el instrumento y en participar y alimentar la posición de Colombia en lo que tiene que ver también con la transición justa. They, have, they are two leaders of waste speakers in Colombia and they have taken a very important role in bringing the voice of waste speakers to our national position for, for the instrument. Um, quisiera que ellos estuvieran acá, quisiera que ellos estuvieran acá trayendo la voz de los recicladores de Colombia, eh, pero dado que no lo están, pues lo que menos puedo hacer es traerlos también aquí en nombre, como los vamos a traer ustedes también en nombre al instrumento. I wish they were here, uh, unfortunately they're not, uh, but the least I could do is to bring their names uh, here because of the leadership that they, they have uh, exercised and to bring you as way speakers also by name into the instrument. Thank you very much. Hi. Member States? Uh, yes. Go ahead. Hello, my name is Claire Romanek. I'm from the United States government, and I just wanted to assure all of you that the United States government very much uh, 
is supportive of a just transition as part of this treaty and specifically mentioning, um, acknowledging that it should be for the informal waste collectors as well as other vulnerable populations. And um, at INC1 in Punta del Este, uh, we organized <clears throat> a side event especially to make sure that as we began the negotiations that um, to ensure that waste workers would have a voice. And <clears throat> our colleague here from Chile spoke at that event, <laughs> if you recall. Um, the INC chair opened the event. And I'm so glad that now as we continue in the INC negotiations that really there is so much momentum now and broader understanding of the role of waste workers um, to solve this problem. Thank you. Another member state? No. Uh, thank you very much. Good afternoon, everybody. I just wanted to give uh, the opportunity for my colleagues who, who are our allies in this negotiation to speak first uh, before I could uh, thank you all for being here. But uh, actually, initially, I have to uh, thank Ambassador Silva Buquerque, who's a good friend, but more than anything, he's a leading example for all of us in the ministry. He's been a fighter for human rights, both internally and as part of his job. So it's an honor to be here. And I think if we're here in this beautiful tent, it is because you are the way you are. So thank you very much. Uh, I'd also like to thank, sorry if I'm speaking very fast, I am moved, you know, I'm very happy to be here. I'd like to thank Severino also for giving us the opportunity to celebrate this first anniversary with you. It's a beautiful moment, as somebody said, there's a lot of energy and, you know, it is this energy that moves us, the diplomats, the bureaucrats to fight for rights. Uh, for me, it's important that we're celebrating it here because you guys put a human face to this treaty. And after we speak about production, polymers, chemicals, and all these things, we, which are important, when we talk about rights, and we talk about rights of waste pickers and all the other workers of the value chain, uh, it's, it's hard not to feel moved and to work more and to make advancements in our, in our treaty. Uh, as uh, Andres has already advanced, uh, it's part of our position of many countries here to make you visible finally in the text. Brazil has its official instructions to actually include text that will make you visible finally in our zero draft. And may I add, Severino is part of our official delegation, so he has a badge exactly like mine. Uh, and this is something that is part of what we do in Brazil. We, uh, we always want to incorporate civil society in our delegation so that they can be part and they can hear and they, they can be uh, where we are. So thank you very much. I, I was moved so I had to write down some notes, but I think I have covered everything. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. So uh, thank you very much, Angelica, for your kind words. And thank you all for your interventions. I, I feel that uh, there is a, a common understanding among all of us that this issue is important, transformative, and necessary. And uh, we can also make miracles. You know why? A couple of weeks ago, where are you standing now? Where you're sitting now was a swimming pool. So actually, uh, this is miracle. <laughs> Let's move ahead now. Uh, I would like to invite Miss uh, Daria or Daria uh, Cibrario uh, from the International Trade Union Confederation to share uh, their demands for just transition. And Patrick, as well. Let's call it to and, and Patrick too. Patrick, you can come too, please. So I also would like to invite uh, Mr. Patrick O'Hare from the St. Andrews University and Scientific Coalition to share uh, the views from the coalition. Daria, you start, you start, please. Yeah. 
Muito obrigada, Sua Excelência. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you very much for the hospitality of the Brazilian Embassy. And uh, thanks very much to the International Alliance of Way Speakers for having the uh, Global Trade Union Movement here. I want to make a few points uh, just to introduce uh, what we mean by just transition, which is aligned with what you mean, but it's broader because it needs to include all workers which are either affected or part uh, of the global supply chain of plastics, which will uh, be inevitably impacted and hopefully impacted in the right uh, uh, direction. So let me just tell you who we are. So I'm personally from Public Services International. This is the Global Union Federation, which represents all workers in public services, including municipal waste workers who also do um, collection, transportation, sorting, reuse, recycling, and final disposal, sometimes next uh, to you. And in many countries, uh, they are in conditions which are very close to yours, with uh, daily scant income, uh, no protective uh, equipment, no formal contracts, they are not recognized uh, as uh, uh, public uh, uh, service workers, they are stigmatized and people avoid them even if they have an official uniform of uh, cities uh, that are from the capital. I will always remember a colleague from uh, um, the Brazilian Union of uh, Waste Services who, al who had a very bright um, uniform and he told me I am very proud of my uniform and it has the name of my city Sao Paulo here on uh, uh, my uniform but people avoid me because they think I stink and I have to do with lixo with waste so we are in together in this fight it's not you or us or it's all of us because many Regressive governments, many companies try to divide us, but this is a war of the poor. You are part of the global labor movement. We never forget about you, even if in some countries there are some tensions, and we represent all of you, but you also need to help us. Because, dear colleagues, and I'm also making a, a strong call to the state representatives who are here, if uh, you finally, and rightfully so, are going to be mentioned in uh, uh, the state interventions uh, that will give shape to the treaty, colleagues, the many other hundreds of millions of workers who are either impacted in their occupational health and safety, and that includes you, or who are going to be badly impacted by the transition, both upstream and downstream, they are not mentioned. Let me tell you who they are. And we represent all of them, not just Public Services International, but my colleagues from the IUF, the International Union of Food Workers, and of Industrial. This is why I have the mandate of the International Trade Union Confederation to talk to you today. Let me just mention who these workers are because you need to help us and also include them in the just transition. Production and manufacturing of plastics, textile, food and drink processing, packaging, catering, restaurants and hospitality. These are key industries in all of your countries. But also, let me tell you, Just Transition is about ensuring the livelihood and the, so and the social justice of this transitioning away from, global plas from plastics. So certain cer uh, kind of plastics, but it is an occupational health and safety issue. An occupational health and safety is part of decent work, and we are all entitled as a human right to decent work, regardless of the status of our employment relation, be it informal, semi-formal, or formal. So let's not forget that those who do manufacturing, but also those who work in water and sanitation utilities, janitors, agriculture and fishery workers, they're exposed to chemicals, to microplastics, and they get poisoned, and they get cancer. So we must not forget, and I urge you, excellencies, to include in uh, uh, the, the debate and in uh, the 
statements that you're gonna make the issue of occupational health and safety for all workers because I'm gonna wrap up because we do not need the dead waste worker heroes. We need the waste workers in decent work with uh, rights, with health and safety. One last point is uh, we must make sure that waste and water and sanitation utilities are not run on a profit-based approach. They belong to all of us. They protect the planet. They cannot be used for profit extraction. These are public services. Let's take them back and let's make sure that they, we all open the water of our tap regardless where we are and we can drink it without buying plastics. And for that, we need governments to take responsibility, tax the, po the polluters, and use that money wisely to build safe, public, functioning infrastructure in water, sanitation, and waste so that we cl can clean up this mess and create decent job for all. Thank you very much. Okay. Hello. Hi there, everyone. It's great to be here. Uh, thank you very much to Rex and to the ambassador for receiving us here. Um, and thank you so much, uh, the International Alliance of Waste Pickers. It's an honor to be asked to speak at your event, just like it's been an honor to be working with waste pickers over the last 15 years or so as a researcher. Um, so my name is Patrick O'Hare. I wear many hats. Uh, you might have seen already, I'm a researcher. I also do a little bit of interpreting, translation. Uh, I'm an ally. I'm also a co-chair of the Waste Management Group of the Scientist Coalition for an Effective Plastics Treaty. I'm also here as a human being, and as a human being, I'm afraid I can't start my talk uh, without calling for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza and thinking about our Palestinian brothers and sisters. So, moving on to the, my in intervention on just transition, uh, I'm going to draw a little bit on a policy brief uh, which I co authored with Emmy Nockleby, who's here over at the back and other scientists for the Scientists Coalition uh, and make the point that a just transition is not just a social justice issue, it's also a scientific issue. And if science has to inform the treaty, as many of you all agree, then social science also has to inform the treaty as part of that. And that's research, for instance, on the size of waste management uh, and recycling sectors in each country, the nature of that sector, the size of the informal part of it, the number of waste pickers in each country, and also, crucially, what waste pickers in each country want and what kind of just transition they want. And you'll find that position in the papers that are at the back of the room uh, and will be distributed. Because it's not always just as simple a, a case of formalization, for instance, uh, and there has to be nuances in each of the countries that respond to the local needs uh, and demands of waste pickers. Now, in our policy brief, we document that the roots of the just transition concept come from the workers' movement. They come from the environmental justice movement. Uh, and we have uh, an extensive definition that refers to a just transition for communities and workers at all stages of the plastics value chain uh, and also in communities affected by plastic pollution. Nevertheless, we know that waste pickers occupy a particularly vulnerable place in the plastics value chain now and historically they have also carried out the lion's share of recycling uh, plastics and other materials without recognition, without remuneration, and therefore it is necessary that they are mentioned explicitly in the treaty and given a, a prominent role as well. We need to make sure that EPR, for instance, uh, looks upstream, but also looks downstream, and we need to ensure that funding from EPR can make it most directly to waste pickers without passing through a series of intermediaries. And the science is also there to prove that that money is best used in terms of recycling and combating plastic pollution when the money can get to the waste pickers as directly as possible. Not only just receiving the funds, of course, but also being involved in the design of EPR policies and in the documents at the back of the room that's been very well researched by colleagues in Riego and waste pickers and others, you'll find best practice examples of just transition initiatives and of EPR as well. So 
as I've said, uh, there has to be upstream measures, but we also have to make sure that there's investment in low-income communities and waste picker activities across the plastics value chain, from collection to classification to processing to sale, and also encouraging waste pickers to move up the plastics value chain into recycling, pelletization, manufacture, and we have good examples of that in different countries such as Colombia and Argentina. Now, coming from academia, uh, it's also important to recognize that waste pickers are not objects of research, right? They are subjects of research, they are co-producers of research, and just as we have now indigenous scholars and indigenous academics, and I say hello to our indigenous brothers and sisters who came into the room as well, we're also now starting to see waste picker academics as well, and that's something we need to encourage. I think it's apt being in the Embassy of Brazil, which has done so much in terms of affirmative action in higher education in, in Brazil, not quota now, uh, to also uh, make a call for affirmative action policies for waste pickers, not only in terms of municipal contracts, but also in terms of academia as well. Now, of course, whether or not they have degrees and titles, we all know that waste pickers are already experts in the work that they do. They should be recognized as such as important local knowledge holders. Uh, and I'm a teacher, no, I'm a, I'm a lecturer. Uh, that's usually what, what's my day to day when I'm not here at these sort of crazy events. Uh, but when it comes to the waste management sector and recycling, everything I know I've learned from waste pickers who I've been working with for years and they continue to surprise me uh, and give me new information. I learn something new every day. So to conclude, let's get the words in the treaty, let's get the correct, correct words and definitions in the treaty in the right places, but then let's turn those words into actions. Thank you. Thank you, Patrick. Well, I would like to thank you all for being here. It has been a historic moment, and uh, I mean it. I mean it because I believe that within some years, we're going to look back at this moment and, and see that uh, word that was were speak, spoken here by each one of you uh, reflected in the text that is going to be approved. I, uh, in speaking about the moment that we live uh, in, in the world where wars uh, torture us, when we turn on the, the TV, when they open the newspapers, uh, I want to remind you that contrary to the, what the common sense indicates, that the main objective of the UN is to preserve uh, peace and security, I, I dare to say that uh, the, the chart of the UN is very clear that the main, the most noble objective of the UN is to preserve and to protect human dignity. What we are doing here today is to uh, reestablish and rebalance uh, the, the importance of human dignity in huge and complex discussions that sometimes diplomats have, forgetting about the essence of our work, which is basically that protect and promote human dignity. So I, I want to thank the International Association of Waste Pickers for uh, the support and the partnership in this initiative. I, I had just heard from Lucianara that St. Andrews was uh, the one uh, sponsoring the lunch that you are gonna have uh, now. And thank you very much, St. Andrews. And uh, I, I, I want to uh, not finalize with the, the last words. I want you, uh, to speak to us again, uh, something uh, enlightening and inspirational. <laughs> bueno, no tiene cosa mejor de que lograr los objetivos. Mi principal objetivo acá era ese: poner un montón de personas que conozco hace un par de años, algunas que están llegando ahora, para compa compartirla con nosotros logros que tuvimos. Y ahí estuvo. ¿Se comprende? Yo, my main objective is to put a lot of people here from different contexts. Un de ellos es tener un montón de personas que nos conoce a un par de años. Acá tiene más personas que conoce a Severino de que Severino los conozca. There's more people here that know Severino than that than Severino knows. Pero no mire Severino. Mira los los recicladores. El nombre Mira, reciclado. Cuando mira a Severino, no mira el nombre. So don't mira look, el trabajo. So don't look at me, as Severino. Look at the waste pickers. Look at the work, please. Mira lo que hace el gobierno brasileño con sus trabajadores, reconociendo su trabajo, su, su, su valor. Look at what the Brazilian government does with its people, with its workers, to recognize its work.
Si todos nosotros juntamos acá y empezar a hacer lo que debemos hacer en nuestros continentes, de cierto, el mundo se quedará mucho mejor mañana después del inicio. After the INC number three, if we all think about what we're doing here together, it would be a, be a much better world. Thank you for this excellent conclusion. I, I just wanted to take the opportunity, since uh, we have a small but strong delegation here at INC3. Um, my colleagues are in the on the floor. They didn't want to come to <laughs> the stage, but I'd like uh, uh, to identify them. But they identify themselves. So uh, we also have uh, trade unions from uh, the public sector, Shani from uh, Talgo, Tanzania, <laughs> and uh, um, Closa, Ghana, Lucy. So we organize uh, public service workers, including waste workers. So if you want to talk to them bilaterally during the launch, uh, we would be pleased. Thank you. Thank you. And now uh, the lunch offered generously by uh, St. Andrews. Thank you very much. And uh, feel at home. This is the Embassy of Brazil, and you are home today.